Assalamu alaikum. Hi, everyone. Uh, in the previous video, I showed you two ways of using Octree. Um, in this video, I will show you uh, some tricks of how to use Octree to create uh, a more complex uh, designs. Uh, so in Rhino, uh, I will start by uh, hide uh, swap. Uh, so that I could see all what is hidden in the Rhino. And here, as you can see, I can find my uh, previous uh, cube. I will uh, kind of um, uh, scale this cube, make it uh, bigger. As you can see that all the things will be edited smoothly for the Rhino. I'll again use the hide swap so that I could see the points and I will move uh, these uh, points and this structure away um, now I will again hide this one and in this part I will bring the list item that I could control uh, the different uh, boxes. So, and I will uh, choose uh, one, then two, uh, three, and four. Um, and uh, I mean, I, I might also use. Here, if you want to align uh, these sliders, you can use uh, those um, uh, boxes or orders. And here, again, I will check use uh, five. And again, I will align them together. And I will uh, use shift and then start hooking up uh, these different items so that I could uh, select more than one uh, box. And here you can see the results. Again, I might create a list panel. And then inside this panel, I might create a list of uh, six, and seven, eight, nine, and, um, uh, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, uh, thirteen. Uh, 14, 15, and generally through the list item, if you use a panel, you will, you will be able to see how many boxes do we have here. So we have 31 boxes. I don't want to take them all, so I will just cl right click and use multi line data. And then again, a uh, shift and I will hook it up here. So I have selected much more uh, boxes to use. And I will take this part, these components, and use copy and paste and again I will use the populate geometry or populate 3D. And I will hook up the box and choose number of, uh, maybe I will use 20 or uh, 30, uh, 47, here's the number of points. And again, I will hook up these uh, points here instead. And for the purpose of decreasing the calculation time, I might remove uh, some of the chosen boxes or I might choose random boxes, for example. Um, I will remove all these boxes. And then select uh, random uh, boxes. So I will double click on this panel. I will double click on this panel 
and then I choose, for example, one, and then uh, six. We have, as we have shown before, that we have 31 boxes. So I would choose one, uh, six, uh, seven, uh, 16, uh, 22. And these are random numbers, uh, 30. And uh, this, is, this error is because we have an empty number. So I will double click again and remove this empty number. Now I can, for example, preview of the old structure and see how the new structure looks like. Now I might use um, I might use other uh, boxes, include other boxes like twenty five. Um, 18. And this, this is the result and you can see that we have a new type of structure or a new uh, shape and also uh, that includes a more complicated uh, geometry. I can also change uh, the shape by using also random, by first using another um, uh, another component which is uh, called random reduce. And I can take this uh, one before hooking it up to the explode. And here you can see we have the list of uh, elements that I need to reduce from, and here number of items to remove, and the seed which is which would create a random uh, uh, choices. From here, okay. now I will hook up the new list here instead. Here you can see the result is different. The result is different from what, what was uh, before. And I can also increase the number of reduced uh, boxes. I can also uh, uh, increase other cells, uh, for example, I can, in this part, after removing uh, this, I can list item here, use the list item component, and choose uh, the faces, and then select a random number of faces. As you can see here, I can, I can use uh, the panel. And pick how many faces do we have. Now I can use a new sum to choose also maybe random numbers so that I could highlight the different uh, cells, make them exist, and then hook them up here. So you, you can see this is a different uh, structure because also uh, the faces are the ones who are uh, selected. But I might select boxes instead, hook the boxes up here directly. So I might. Uh, as, as I showed before, we have 31 boxes where, where we, we have selected some of them here. So I want to select uh, uh, others. So here I want to choose a random number of, uh, uh, of boxes or choose the other boxes that were not uh, selected here. Uh, so I can do this, I can use call index. And here is the list. Here are the index that I want to, 
to not select. And as you can see here, I will preview it off, but I'm selecting all the other boxes that were not used in this part. And now I want to select from these boxes only. So I will cook uh, the call index up in the list item instead of, um, so that I could select uh, all numbers that are not selected here. And here you can see that when I hook it up here, I have only 23 boxes. So I'm going to uh, use, for example, a, a random list from these boxes. And hook it up here. Uh, the error again because we have empty numbers, so I have to use the backspace and click outside the component. And here is uh, what, what you, as you can see, I have a different, a new different structure. I can also increase or randomly choose other uh, um, other uh, boxes. So twenty one. And that's it. And so the last step is to select all these components and then right click and preview off. And as you can see, here is our uh, final structure. Um, so um, I hope um, you like it and I hope you enjoyed uh, this uh, tutorial. And thank you so much for watching and wait for more.